Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. While most uh, boys in high school uh, during uh, lunch hour were eating lunch uh, with their friends uh, and uh, you know possibly trying to pick up a, a girlfriend, um, I was in a makeshift computer lab. It's I guess you could be called a computer lab. We had a couple of computers uh, playing Sim Earth uh, with another friend, just a friend and I, and we we, we snacked on some some food. I mean, we we ate, you know, of course, while we were playing the game. And and the idea of Sim Earth was you could evolve a globe. And one day we decided to wipe the globe out with a nuclear annihilation. And uh, so we did this. It wiped it out with a Sim. And uh, then suddenly this little this icon popped up and the icon we looked in the book and it was like this icon is not documented it was a robot and that robot you know a, a, you know a few you know days later or sprang another robot and it grew and pretty soon we had grown a series of artificial intelligence in sim earth i don't know if anybody else did that uh and then something else wild happened we tried another globe you know we terraformed it and, and you know, built it up and you know set certain conditions it was a lot of fun and we grew sentient plants carniferns were their names Carniferns. Uh, I played Sim City a little, uh, not as much as I enjoyed Sim Earth, though. Uh, I have been a fan of the Sim genre, and, and granted, it's it's far beyond uh, what it uh, is or was. Uh, it, it's far beyond what it was for me today than it. It's changed. The game has changed, folks, and there are a lot of amazing simulator games out there. As if your own life, you know, wasn't difficult enough. You know, I know, I, you know, it's kind of like Second Life. I you know, barely have a first one. So there's a few simulator games you may not be familiar with, uh, including something that was, was called Rail Simulator, now called Railworks 3. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, train simulators at all, there's one you could take a look at. Uh, I remember growing up with friends who had like, a tra like actual physical toy trains, uh, and that was fun to look at. I don't know. I've never really gotten into the train simulator. Never really gotten to flight sims either, although they're very, very uh, popular, especially with the uh, touch screens, uh, being able to, to swivel the screen around and, and fly around crashing into things. That Not that you should crash into things. It's not a good thing. Uh, there's also Ship Simulator Extremes, built by V-Step, uh, and it's actually a, a top simulator as far as uh, ship simulators go. Uh, it, it In terms of playability, uh, you know, if you're someone who likes simulators, and you, you, you thought, well, wait a minute, I've never heard of this. Well, that's why we put this list together for you. If you want to, you know, possibly simulate what it would be like, you know, in some kind of a shipyard instead of using, you know, actual ships or trains or anything physical. That's the value of doing or playing in, inside a simulator. And it's good for the, 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 the brain, too. You know, it makes you think that you, you know what you're talking about when it comes to the real world, because you simulated something. Well, the way I simulated it here, you never know. There's also Live for Speed, also known as LFS. It's a racing simulator, not just a game, but an actual simul simulator. You will be assimilated if you play this. sim you later, even if I can't say it. Uh, OMSI, or Der Omnibus Simulator. It's kind of German. Uh, it's a, a game that are... Hey, see, it's not really a game. Do you really consider simulators games? Uh, and I, John McKinley, who of course uh, collected the series uh, for us, you know, notes it that he he, re, he lists them each one of these simulators as simulators, not necessarily as just games. Uh, so if you want to know what it's like to drive a bus, you could play OMSI, Dirt Omnibus Simulator. Uh, there's also fight fight. I'm just tripping over myself left and right here. Flight Simulator X. I could have used Fight Simulator X when I was in high school instead of, you know, being a punching bag for some people for playing video games when I should have been doing other things. But look at me now! I am sitting here sweating in front of you, a live YouTube video audience, instead of other things that I could be doing, like simulating what it's like to have a life. Uh, if you want to take a look at the, the video games, or simulators, you're more than welcome to take a look at the link, the story that we've put for you in the video's description.